Okay, so today we've got the offset single leg RDL. Now, anytime the word offset is involved, it essentially means challenging one side of the body a little bit more than the other with regards to resistance or structural position. So it increases the demand from a stabilization component, at least in the frontal and the transverse plane, depending on the movement you're performing. Essentially with the offset single leg RDL, it's exactly the same as the single leg RDL, but we're going to generate tension on the side that is opposite to the leg that you are hinging on. So if you are utilizing the right leg to perform the hinge on, then you're going to have a heavier object on the left-hand side, or you're going to create tension by pulling against a resistance on the left-hand side to create that kind of offset effect. As you can see in the video here, I'm using, you don't necessarily find in most gyms, but I have it in my home gym, uh, using a sledgehammer, because obviously on one side, it's slightly more weighted than the other. But you can use a dumbbell, as you can also see in this variation, and just simply Simply hold the dumbbell on one side rather than on the supporting side and like I said all this is going to do is challenge that stability component. Anytime we do a unilateral exercise we get that glute med and QL co-contraction kind of position that we need to work on to try and maintain pelvic height and lumbar pelvic stability. So with this you want to focus on keeping your hip height level. Again, whenever we challenge internal stability, we see that a lot of people compromise by trying to improve their external stability, which just essentially refers to balance. So they will change their hip position to try and keep their balance. Again, you only utilize the offset loading, particularly within this movement, if you've got a solid structural position and consistency within the non-offset variation. Again, you're going to focus on keeping the neutral spine all the way through, keeping that extension throughout your thoracic spine so that we get that activation of the hamstring and the glute, and also focus on keeping the hip height level. 